Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. I welcome you personally to this space and to this community. We're here to share our stories, empathize with each other, and share tips and tricks. Why not offer those things up? Because the information with the internet is amazing. And these are probably the most difficult times of our lives. Would you agree? I mean, I'm sure you can empathize with that, and then why not? bring that to light to help other people. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I want to address a question today that I get a lot is, why do I bleed so dang much? Patients will tell me, you know, Dr. Chung, I get drips of blood down the toilet. When I look in the toilet bowl, it's like, holy cow, I must have, somebody must have died here, but I don't see any bodies. Like, what the heck is going on? My tissue paper is blood red. It's dripping down my leg, but the doctor only says I have a fissure. Like, it it doesn't make sense. And so I want to address that particular piece there. And I want to introduce the sponsor of this channel, which is Pranicura. They've been with your friendly proctologist for a year now. And I'm especially proud to bring this to you because I only want to present solutions to you that actually work. Okay, I need to see a track record. I need to know how it's made. I need to know where it's made. I need to know the owners and you see how that goes. I don't just bring video games to you to try and just sell things to you. I want things that will actually help you with your bottom end conditions. So itchy bottom end, inflamed bottom end, bleeding bottom end, right? That's where Pranicura can be helpful to you. It's by creating that barrier and the ingredients inside to bring soothing and gentle ways to cope and also to bring an environment for healing is what Pranicura is all about. And I've opened this before. Let me show you again. This is my personal jar with all my fingerprints in it. It is a cream Based and it's got this nice melon color to it and it smells like a little bit of a hint of menthol in it to bring a cooling action to the cream and I recommend this to my patients and I'm further recommending it to you because things I share here in the office I bring to you on YouTube and so I encourage you to take the 30-day challenge with this cream to give it that long test to see if it does bring any benefits to you. You can only get it at www.pranicura.com and that way they can control their consistency, their product, and make sure they ship, they ship out a fresh one to you. So let's go on here. I'll bring Pranicura up towards the end of the video one more time, but I do want to get to the content for today. I want to present to you two reasons why your fissure bleeds so deep dang much okay and i've got my famous visual aids my stupid drawings <laughs> so let's take this drawing for size i hope you can see that here and what i've drawn here is your bottom end and i know it looks like maybe i should draw a face with a lion's face in here but maybe it could be the rays of sunshine around the sun. I don't know, but this is, I meant this to be the anus and I meant this to be the skin fold, you know, kind of looks like the rays of sunshine or a star, right? And when we're talking about anal fissures, right? The anal fissure is literally, literally a cut. It's usually at the 12 or six o'clock position, I'm drawing it here literally a knife-like cut and it certainly feels like the knife searing through your bottom end or glass sure glass shards shooting through your bottom end when you take a poop <clears throat> but i'll tell you these fissures are usually a centimeter to max two centimeters long okay they're very short so when you compare that to a cut on your arm, if you cut yourself with a nice two centimeter, one centimeter cut, and you compare that to the blood you see in your toilet, it doesn't compute. <laughs> the arm wound won't bleed that much. So how, do, how is it that a cut in our bottom end just bleeds so dang, how does it bleed so much more, right? So I wanted to bring this picture to you because say like it's very small cuts. You really got to open up the skin to even find the cut, right? So that now leads into the first answer of this question for where the bleeding. And I want to show you another picture which gives you the anatomy of the cut 
of the fissure, okay? And you can see what I'm talking about. So here you go, another great picture from yours truly, and it's right here. So when you think about the cut here, it's an interruption or a cut in the lining of your anus, right? So you got the lining of your anus here, and it's broken in between, and you have the other side of the lining here, right? And the cut is really just a nice cliff downwards because you separated the two ends. So what's at the bottom of the cut is the bottom of the cut is the wound. And if it gets really bad, you can actually see your muscles at the bottom of the fissure. You know, if the fissure got cut deep enough or it's chronic and it's been there long enough, the cut will actually get deeper and deeper. And you can actually literally see these white piece of muscle on the bottom. Uh, this other thing that's significant for the bleeding is the sides of the fissure. What are these walls? What, are, what is that? Is it all lining? No, the lining is very thin at the very top here, and that's it. So the side walls are your hemorrhoid blood vessels. Because I've told you before, hemorrhoids are 360 degrees and they're continuous. It's not like one pipeline that runs through your entire anus. It's actually a huge network twisted around in all random places. I mean, you make one cut through the lining of the anus and instantly you're going to have blood coming through. So the fissure is actually cutting through the hemorrhoids and splitting the hemorrhoids like the Red Sea. And you've got your wound or your muscle, depending how bad things are, how long it's been there, at the bottom of it. So, how now you kind of know where I'm getting at here. When you have a poop going by there, those hemorrhoids are completely exposed. Their lining is no longer covering those walls of the cliff there, of the cut. So the poop goes by, and just rubs up against it. the poop will just sit on top of here and then rub right through the the cliff right here okay it kind of reminds me of finding nemo and dorian you know um what's this what was this the nemo's dad they're going through the cliff here right and they're going through dangerous territory and what happens there the hemorrhoids get rubbed on and then bleeding comes from these both of these hemorrhoids into here because again everything is super fragile and when you've got an exposed cut very fragile bleeding and hemorrhoids once you open them up blood pours out okay it just will create that dripping experience that you have or the coating on your stools okay so that's reason number one what's reason number two reason number two is because of anal spasm and you're saying, well, I don't have that, Dr. Chung. I just have a cut. <laughs> and, it's not, and I'm not saying that you have got a, another diagnosis, but when you get trauma to your anus, like a cut, like pain to your bottom, what does your muscle do? It spasms, it squeezes down, but not just normal squeeze force, a much higher level of squeeze force. You ever notice that? You have a bad bowel movement. What does your body do? It scrunches up like you, like your anus just had a lemon, like just squeezed and tasted the lemon, right? It's like, ooh, like that, right? And when it is reacting because it wants to protect itself, wants to protect you from pain, so it spasms. Now, usually the spasm, you may feel that, but it lets go after a little bit, right? But when you're pooping, your anus remembers what is happening, remembers the fissures, remembers the pain that you're in. And so it, it will be programmed, or not programmed, but it has, it has learned that something dangerous is about to happen, something bad, painful, and it will squeeze down before you get pooping. Okay? Just, if you don't understand what I'm saying or you don't believe me, just pay attention to what your anus is doing. Or if you find that you have to push harder when you're pooping, when you got a fissure going on, that's what I'm talking about right there. Your anus is squeezing harder than it should. And it is something that you actually don't have very good control over. If you want to learn more, go to my anal spasm videos and you'll see more detail what I'm talking about. So now your anus is squeezing hard, okay, we'll do it this way, is squeezing hard and your rectum, your poop is on top here, right? And the toilet bowl is below. 
So your poop is on top here and you've got to go poop. So what do you need to do? You need to relax. But the problem is, like I said, the anus is squeezing harder than it needs to. And it's also pooping incorrectly. You know, if it listened to logic, you tell it to, hey, let go, man. We actually can have a much better and H less traumatic time if you were to just let go a little bit the poop will come out and then you and then things will be much better but the anus doesn't understand that and you don't have a way to communicate so the anus stays closed so you what do you do you got to push harder for this anus to open up and when it's opening up here because it's trying to fit the poop it's got to stretch and stretch and stretch and the poop finally gets in because you're pushing down and what happens here is the anus is not relaxing and opening, it is being forced and stretched open. Okay, that's the fundamental difference. So when the poop is going in there, the anus is grabbing on that poop. It's got a death grip. You're making fires in your anus. There's so much friction. It's like there's some a car is peeling rubber inside your bottom end. And the inside of the anus is hemorrhoids very fragile anal lining super super uh, fragile can't take a joke weak stuff and when an anus is squeezing on that the hemorrhoids and the lining becomes an innocent bystander it's super sad if you think about it you know those hemorrhoids they they didn't do anything wrong but because they can't take a joke you know they don't have any armor on them they get hurt like crazy so what happens is that those hemorrhoids get injured they bleed, they swell up, your fissures, they bleed, they, they come back, they, you know, pour out with blood, okay? They do all these things because this, you know, this big poop, you know, even if it's soft, it's still rough because you're got a death grip, you're squeezing so hard on it. I'm trying to emphasize, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. The forces are incredible inside your anus. Your anus is a very strong muscle and those hemorrhoids are very, very weak. And it's it's really sad, you know? Innocent bystanders, totally innocent people getting, getting just sabotaged when you do that. And so that's where the bleeding comes from. It comes from your hemorrhoids, your fissures, everything, because your muscles are squeezing so tight, okay? And so I hope that this helps you to understand why you can get so much bleeding and why it really, you know, is something you could expect every once in a while. Now definitely see your physician if you're worried about it. You may, you may have a ton of bleeding. That's not quite normal because you don't want to have like tons of blood clots coming out that isn't very typical of fissures at all okay but definitely make sure you are seen by a specialist i'm biased i would prefer you be seen by a colon and rectal surgeon but you know definitely seek out resources near you and as we close this video i want to bring your attention pranicura you can only get it from their website pranicura.com if you're out in a country outside of the usa they do deliver internationally just contact them through the website and see what the details are so you can get your own jar and you can get started on your 30-day journey to getting better and i really hope that this is an option that works for you there are many options out there and i want to bring you as much help as i can and same with pranicure they're on board with this i've spoken with them personally the ingredients in here are natural there's no prescription medications you can use this every single day multiple times for the rest of your life even if that's necessary so that you can achieve your quality of life now, i wish you the best check out pranicure.com check them out read the reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.